Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to get Ragnarok Online or any private servers for Ragnarok Online running through Linux. My choice of a server is going to be on Payon, but any server will work. Now you have to download a few things. It's very simple. Assuming you're on Payon, get a login, make an account if you don't have one, and then you just want to download a game. Download the web, and then take it to Mega Drive, and you just go ahead and just download. Now as that's going, you're going to head on over to DG Voodoo. Once you're here, you just click on downloads, you're gonna see this page, you're gonna scroll down. I've tried 2.82.2, it didn't work. So I went down to 79.3, and that one worked for me just fine from the Flatpak store. Or you can get Lutris, also from the Flatpak store. They both have about the same install. If you have everything downloaded, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to bottles, you know, go to this top left, create a new bottle. We can call this whatever we want. Call this RO. I already made one, but we'll just do it again. I'm gonna put it for gaming. Just hit create. This is your first time making the bottles. It's gonna take a bit bit of time, but you need to make it a few bottles. It won't take too long. Okay, first thing that we want to do is we're going to hit run executable. We're gonna to go to the downloads and pay on story clients. That's the thing we downloaded. You can see this. Now you can choose where to download it to if you have a preference. Uh, Z is going to be for Linux. C is Wine. So in this case, I just made a uh, tutorial folder. It's going to have C Home, your username, then downloads, and you should extract. And it's going to take a little bit of time, but it won't take too long. So once that's finished, you can hit Run Execute All again. You can go to the folder that you made, and then you're going to scroll down. You're going to go to Windows Libraries, and then I'm going to run this, then you click degree install. So now what we're going to do next, we're going to press add shortcut. We're going to go back one. You're going to find patcher.exe. We want patcher.exe specifically. So once you've done all that, you're going to head up to settings. Now for the runner, you can install multiple with a program called Proton QT, which allows you to download different versions. That's why I have more than what you're going to have. But you just can go to system line. 802, whatever your number is, it should be about 802. It'll take a second to load in. Now, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you want to change this to AC. If you have a AMD, keep this at this default one. I like to enable this. If you have a server that has anti-cheat, enable this might cause issues, but this does help a lot, in my opinion. Next, we're going to scroll down until we see this. Go to XP for Windows version, and then we're going to go to DLL Overrides. So, DG Voodoo thing that we installed, we're actually going to be using that now. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to increase our FPS, because otherwise it's going to be at about 30 to 40, and it's, it's playable, but we can do better. So, we're going to move this here. We can copy or move. Then go to MS, x86. You're going to grab these three. Do not get 3D D9. It's these three. Copy. Now at this point, you can just delete this. You don't need the anything else here, but we'll keep it here for now. So we're going to go back to bottles. We're going to go to new override. You're going to type D3, D8, or H, we're going to type DD draw, or just D draw, and D3, D, I, N, M. Then change all these to windows, our native windows, as everything that we need to change here. So we can go back, run pay on stories patcher. Patching complete. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings and you can see DG Voodoo is working because it has our graphics card as a DG Voodoo. Go here, get your resolution to max. When you finish installing the game, you do want to enable restrict mouse to window, but for now we'll leave it as that. We're actually gonna go to 1080, just come up a smaller window for the video. Sound needs 3D sound. This you can just leave it as is. Fly. Okay. And then we press play now, and there we go. It's working. So but we're not done yet. There's a few more things we want to change. So back here, we're gonna right click. Oh, you do need wine. I forgot to mention that. If you don't know how to download wine, you just go into your console package manager, went to Pac-Man. And then, I believe for Ubuntu, it's sudo apt get wine. Don't know the other ones. I use uh, Arch, by the way. So, here in TG Voodoo, 
you're going to go to add, you're going to find, you're going to find the uh, directory where you installed the game to. So, mine's home, Josh. If it does this, you just got to drag it. Downloads. And then, I so here, add for tutorial. So, I named it, pay on story. Yeah, but like that. There we go. Best one available. Adapters. Use your graphic card to have a 370. Remove Voodoo watermark. Enable these. And then increase your VRAM. Do not change resolution. Keep anti aliasing to app driven. Once all that is said and done, we go back to bottles. Chrome. Patch is complete. Just load up the game. And now we can just log in real quick. And now, as you can see, it has a high FPS. And yeah, the, the game is being played. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is show you how to do this through Lutris. If you want to do Lutris instead of bottles, if you do the first part of the installation, you basically just finish everything else here. So you press the plus. Add locally installed game. We're going to just type in any name you want. The runner. Uh, mine. Executable. Go to here. No arguments. Working directory. This. No. Now go over here. Center on Lutris. Something called system. We want to enable this. Then disable, 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 and disable all these. This is going to be slightly different than what we did. So we're still going to type in the same ones that we used before, but this time press N and then add. And then just add in the other ones. It's like that. We're done here. This you can keep as is. Doesn't matter. Press save. Display. It's going to load in. Setting. Working just fine. All the settings are the same. Play now. And there you go. Just like that. Everything here is working. Smooth frame rate. So that's how you get RO set up for Linux. If you want to follow a written guide, I also will be posting that in the description.